Tell these rappers, yo, go get away. Wazers, we run this radio like, like, like every day. Wazers, hold on, be mad. Of course, they promoted their last mixtape, of course, it lives in North Volume 3. And of course, you know, you had to just respect uh, the amount of talent that was on there. Uh, fresh off a release party at Rockwood, the back with more for it lives in North Volume 4. If you didn't think they could do it last time, I like the Fuji in the back here, even the score. Welcome back, uh -huh. what's good? Very nice. <laughs> Kicking it, brother. Yeah, Hip hop's yeah, living. Yeah, yeah, Just put out this mixtape. I'm really excited. Shouts to Dame, Dame's Nuts. I'm gonna try to get him on the phone for okay. before we get out of here. Oh, yeah. He's out there grinding right now. We did the release party last night. Yes, yes. And if anybody that was there can remember, then they remember good. They remember a good time because okay. we got smashed. Most definitely, most definitely. Now, of course, in terms of volume four, what was the direction that you were trying to take with this one versus volume three? Just, just to just to represent the time period that we're in right now, and 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 try to create another mo capture another another moment in time. So, really, what we try to do is just pick the best music that can represent the current of what's going on okay. out of Canada right. at this time. You know what I mean? Absolutely. We don't. We usually sit down with fifty records or something. My dames and I will come together, and then we whittle it down, and we have to make some choices and cut some really hard tracks. Like we started with probably fifty records, went down to. 35 and only 23 made it on on, on the actual CD okay. just because of time. But we just try to we just try to make sure that every song that's on there right. can stand alone on its own and, okay. and bang. Right. That's really what we look for. Uh, do you have any favorites in terms of like the ones that you put on? Are you helped yeah, put, we did put on? Yeah. We put an exclusive on from uh, it's a mayhem track okay. off of his upcoming album featuring Jordan and it's called All the Way Gone. And they shot a video for it. Uh, Cashmere did the video, it's not out yet, but it's it's on its way, and we actually got to break the record, so nobody's heard it. Okay. And we have it, and we put it out, so shouts to Soze for that one. Most definitely, most definitely. Now, of course, you also have uh, Trix doing some yes, narrative Trix. stuff in there. How did, uh, how did he get involved with all this? Trix, I just hounded Trix for weeks to get an interview for Hip Hop Canada purposes, right. and then when I started, I said, okay, well, what I'm going to do is just take the best piece of audio out of this whole conversation yeah. and we're gonna use that as an interlude are you cool with that and he said yeah i'm cool with that and Trix is a pretty outspoken guy most definitely you know and we, we got into a very con candid conversation on a lot of different topics okay. and then i just sent it to dames and dames was picked what he picked okay. and that came out to make the statement that he's making For sure. if you haven't heard the interlude yet he talks about just about uh representing ourselves and, and respecting the culture that is here and um Kind of knocks a couple, a couple tendencies right. of our media and of our fans, I guess. Um, in terms of the direction for the series, um, what's the direction next? Is it going to be a volume five, or is it going to be something that you're going to be starting on? Is it how long is it going to uh, come? Yeah, we have. Well, this is our second one of two, our second mixtape of 2011. Right. We did our last one in February. That was the yeah. last time we were here. Yeah. And we're just going to keep going. I mean, we got nominated for a stylist for the last one, okay. which was cool, and that was nice recognition. So. And I think every mixtape we get more and more listeners. It sure. continues to help support the brand and the idea because if we're just doing t-shirts, this is a way that we can actually, people can test it. Right. Right? I mean, people can test the theory and say, okay, well, at least let's see what they're offering right. and see if it lives in the north and see if there's some good music. We're just gonna keep banging them out, you know, and just, you know, just keep keep pushing it. You personally, what do you have on the go right now? I know you're always have busy. Me go? Yeah, I know you're always busy, but well, I'm working with Mosaic Music right now. Shout okay. to Soze, so I'm working on some some projects with him. Okay. Um, I'm I'm working on a, a book project on the low that's been progressing over the last year. I'm Central Region editor at Hip Hop Canada. Who needs a bio? Press releases. I write all that stuff too. Okay. And um, yeah, there's some more stuff that I can't really talk on, but okay. you know, when I get back here and I like to talk about things when they're ready to go. Right. You know what I mean? But those things are on their way to being ready to go. On their way, yeah. all right, all right. We are here with the one and only hard working DJ, you know, making his thing, making his business, brown bills all day, every day. Charlie Brown in the building, what's good? Yes sir, yes sir. I'm back, I'm back, sure, I'm back. Sure, sure, sure. Now of course, a lot has happened since the last time 
you were here, of course, you dropped the video for Reality. Uh, you've been touring the country a couple times over. Um, and you've done numerous parties. You've also uh, blessed us with a new single. And um, of course, you also have the newest Brown Bills Pancon mixtape, which is set to drop soon. Uh, so, what exactly have you been up to since then? Outside of all that stuff, uh, what else have you really been up to? I've been busy DJing and you know doing the whole DJ thing and throwing parties and stuff. But I took a little break uh, with the whole mixtape thing for a couple months because you know life hits you sometimes and you get busy with other things. But um, yeah, like I've been thinking about doing this a long time and you know I did reality. Yeah. I was like a blind man walking into like. Like, a, like, you know, the real music world, really. Right. And uh, I learned a lot from that. And uh, yeah, uh, pretty much, long story short, I'm back and uh, put this mixtape mix tape together. And I was looking for a single for a while. Right. And uh, finally, I thought I had something with this one that had just dropped, Big Who's Dead. And uh, we're about to campaign it. Okay, most definitely. Now, of course, speaking about the reality scene, man, everybody, especially when the video dropped, you know, people were talking about it, some positive, negative. Your whole experience with that situation, like, what happened? Ups and downs, man. But life experiences, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, a lot of people said I couldn't do it. Right. Um, and I always, you know, I weighed the positive and the negatives. I had meetings with all kinds of different people from the industry. Right. Uh, and there's no, there's, there's not really any money in it. Right. If you get what I'm trying to say. So everything that I was doing was pretty much an investment. Okay. Uh, but it's something that I believed in. Right. Um, and I decided to do it. Some people said, you know, they didn't really feel it. Right. Some people said they liked it. But that's how life goes. Not everyone's gonna like. I'm just like what you do. Most um, but at the end of the day, it was a learning experience. Right. And uh, you don't know until you try, you know? Sure, I tried, you know, sure. I know, you know? For sure. Now, of course, based on that video, some people were saying that you were trying to go on the DJ Khaled kind of vibe when you were trying to. Was that really what you were going for? I, I think he's definitely a, an inspiration. Um, but I kind of grew up in the Clue Capri era. Okay. Um, and, you know, they were doing that kind of stuff. Right. Um, and then I guess Khaled's like the new. Like the new, the new school. Right. So, by seeing him, it was kind of like, well, they have a movement out there. Right. But we have no one really representing us over here as a DJ. Right. I mean, DJs are representing artists, but they're not collaborating them commercially oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and so forth. But um, right. by me doing this, I thought it was, it was something for me to create my own lane okay. and conquer it. You know what I mean? also have a new single called "Good Who's Die" featuring uh, T Lanes and Harvey Stripes. Uh, how did this collaboration come about? To be honest with you, there were so many artists that had submitted records because it's so busy to kind of be in the studio with a bunch of artists all the time. Right. Uh, so it's kind of like having artists submit records okay. to see if I if I could potentially, you know, have the ear for it and, and get it out there. Um, but we kind of just all met up at the studio. Right. I had a session with P. Rain, and um, after that session was over, Harvey Stripes had a session. So I guess when P. Rain left, I stayed because I was working on some stuff. Right. And uh, and then T. Lanes was in the studio, and then we just created that. Okay, okay. Um, how do you feel that this single, do you feel that this single is bigger than what reality was and it'll be, you know, held in high regards in that? Or well, I just, I, I just had a conversation with somebody about that the other day. Uh, you, you can't really compare the two. Okay. I think reality is more of a Canadian sounding anthem. Right. Um, and then Gregor's Diet is more directed at the American demographic. Okay. Uh, like I can hear that on like V103 in Atlanta or 99 Gems in Miami. Right. Um, it was more of a different feel. And, and it's crazy because there's a lot of mixed reviews, right? Some DJs will say reality was bigger. Right. Um, I find the older guys will say reality was bigger and the younger guys will say Greg was died. Because I think Greg was died is more geared towards a younger demographic. Right. Yeah. And, and reality is more like the older guys that would say, yo, I'm giving you props because you put all these Canadian guys together and it's more Canadian sounding. Right. Yeah. Can we expect any more singles? Yeah, uh, the next single will be with P. Rain, definitely. Okay. Uh, we got his uh, mixtape, it's called True Kings Don't Die, um, which is coming out real soon. Uh, we've been in the studio working on that for at least a couple months. We have, it's pretty much done. Okay. We're just adding a couple features and stuff like that. So um, I think people are gonna be very receptive to that as well. I know that like over the past few months, you kind of done a, a kind of a rebranding of your brand. I know like you've kind of taken yourself from clubs such as um, like a Sunday Night Raw and I like, have limited to that and like home nightclub one now like what is the reason behind your you kind of wanted to upgrade your brand and like what is the, Mommy. and what's the lesson that you've learned that you could teach other DJs on, on their brand? Well I think um, you know no disrespect to anyone that, that would party at home that club or, or a frequency or whatever it may be in Branton or whatever. Um, I just think that I reached a point as a DJ where I reached a peak in a certain market. 
and um, I couldn't get higher than where I was. Yeah. And I wasn't getting the respect they deserved because of the work that I was putting in. So it's kind of like, well, I'm getting older. When I was, you know, 22, tw well, 21, 22, it was cool because that's all we knew. Right. You know, and then getting older kind of made me understand that if I do, if I rebrand, I'll get respected differently on a different level, like a level I want to be respected on. Right. Now, like, well, he's doing his thing, but yeah, he's just not on that level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like by me being associated with certain clubs and certain markets, a lot of other promoters wouldn't take me serious. And even my DJ fee wouldn't be able to go up because why are you even throwing clean events but then promoting a ghetto weekly? Yeah. Right. It just it just wasn't matching, you know what I mean? And I think um, I'm in a good space right now, you know? And, and, it, and it took a long time for like even a lot of promoters to even accept me. I'm getting calls from promoters that I thought I'd never get calls from. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And um, I, I'm definitely happy and I'm blessed for that, but it's a lot of work, man. And like even now, it's like, well, okay, someone's offering me a certain amount of money, and now I want to do it because the money's there, yeah, yeah. but it doesn't fit my brand. Yeah. Okay. So you know, it, it's hard to kind of differentiate the two because you're like, well, on on one hand, this guy's my friend, right. and he's throwing a party and whatever, but then it's like, well, now I think I'm too cool because I'm not taking his booking, yeah. and then that goes around that circle. Charlie thinks he's, he's, he's too cool, cool. Yeah. And, and it's not the case, it's just I'm not in that space anymore, but mm -hmm. you know a lot of people sometimes they don't really understand so you gotta kind of just show them love regardless. So basically, in order to raise your stocks you must at times rebrand. I believe it, I mean, unless you're just comfortable with what you're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, lo a lot of people will DJ in one market for 10 years mm -hmm. and they'll love it, yeah. but there's a, you see with me it's different, I just, I, I'm very like goal driven, like mm -hmm. you know, if I reach a certain level, I'm like, well, I'm at the top of my game here. Now what's next? Yeah. If nothing's left, I'll just, I'll get all, I'll feel all weird and I won't want to do anything. Cause I'll be like, well, I can't move from here. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. So you just want to stay, keep it going. That's okay. the only way to do it. You know, at the end of the day. Don't um, evolve. Yeah, if you don't evolve and you stay at the same place, you feel like you're doing nothing. You know what I mean? And, and, and I always want to move up. And you know, I was telling, I was telling you earlier too, like I've always wanted to put out a record. Mm -hmm. I always said I want to, put out a record and I want to be on the radio. That was one of my personal goals, no matter how much money it costed me to put everything together. Yeah. And I'm happy that I did it when I did it. Because okay. when you knew me, Face, when I was doing uh, Hype Nightclub and all this stuff, if I were to put out a single then, yeah. it would have it it backfired completely. Yeah. But it's like, I did it at the right time. Yeah. You know? So I, I'm happy. And it was kind of like a fluke too. It wasn't like, and I think if I had the resources then, I would have done it. Yeah. So I'm kind of happy I didn't have the resources, you know? So. So what's next in store for you, get Charlie Brown? Well, definitely getting this single bubbling, the video. Um, like I said, I'm working on a radio show. Um, I have video release and single release parties lined up across Canada. I'm doing a uh, Newfoundland Thanksgiving weekend. I'm doing three different towns. Okay. Uh, Gander, Grand Falls, and St. John's. I have Montreal in November, and then I have Ottawa and Edmonton, Vancouver. So. Do you think those towns made you an honorary citizen yet? Because you're always there. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, as a DJ, you got to kind of have stuff to sell. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the time, DJs try to tour, but they have nothing to sell. Right. You know, and it's, and it's hard. So with me, I just invest into my brand and I spend a lot of money. Right. So I think it gives me a different outlook. You know what I mean? I you have you to have something to sell. For sure. I'll tell you something. When you go back there, campaign to get a t uh, one of those key towns, you know, the town. Or whatever it is, the key, you know, campaign for it. Key to the city? Key to the city, whatever it is. Yeah.